Hello, my terrific Taurus, and welcome to your weekly energy reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest also. If you haven't had a chance to check out your other readings on my channel, please do so. I would love to hear from you. Uh, please do not forget to hit that notification bell. I'm putting up love readings this weekend, and I know you want to know what kind of love sits you have going on. So without further ado, let's get in here. Just don't forget that like, subscribe share, notification, all that great stuff. I'd appreciate it. So let's hit it, shall we? Let's see what your week and weekend is going to kind of look like going forward as we go along here. All right, Wheel of Fortune. So this is great news, right? So we are going to be kind of moving into something exciting for us. So for those of you who've been like, oh my gosh, it's about dang time, right? I've been holding on to hope for whatever, that job, that loan that family member to hang out with me. I don't care if it's been, I've been waiting for that person to ask me on a date, whatever it may have been forever. I think you are going to get it, right? I think this week is the week that, you know, things are going to start looking up, right? Start getting those kind of vibes. Things might come through. You might be getting those calls about, you know, maybe a job that you applied for forever ago and you've written it off and all of a sudden, bam, hey, we're starting to hire for next, you know, quarter, first quarter of the year, because we're in end times and end of the month, end times. It's not the end of times, <laughs> the end of the year, and they're starting to do that. And so opening up some things because, you know, I do feel like that's kind of what's happening is something that you kind of weren't expecting is coming to fruition here in a positive, positive way. Um, I'm just getting the vibe on that. And I do feel like for some of you, there may be a person, a special person that may kind of, you know, maybe you didn't think they had any interest in you. Maybe you've had interest in them and you've kind of, you know, eh, well, maybe they just friend zone me, whatever. But I think that maybe they might show a little interest in you and it might be something new and exciting for you. So whatever kind of resonates with you that you've been kind of hoping for, I do see that kind of working out for you, coming to fruition or, you know, moving in a positive direction. Um, and then we have the seven of cups here and that's kind of letting me know again that you're going to have options with this too. So whatever it is, it's going to bring you options. So Again, I feel like that may give you the option of you may have multiple suitors, you know, hey, I kind of like this person and I've kind of been dropping hints there, um, but I've got this really good friend and, you know, they would be nice to, you know, just whatever. Maybe both will come kind of express something to you that they have interest. You know, maybe this is a job opportunity and it's opening up options for you. Okay, hey, I can take this job and that would really ele elevate my family's, you know, position because it's more money or maybe this job would just be a lot easier and less time consuming and I'd get to spend more time with whomever, you know, but whatever it is, I do see that it's going to bring you options, right? Okay. And this may even be something where you've been waiting for an opportunity to, you know, start something new for yourself, move somewhere new, start your own business, things like that. And you're just really now getting, okay, I'm getting that loan. I'm going to be able to actually kind of start this new business I've really been wanting to do. I'm so sick of this nine to five. I'm so over it. Um, you know, I'm ready for something new. I'm ready to get kind of into my own thing, my own kind of path. And, and this is what's coming for you. So again, that would be a ton of options. You can do just about anything when you're your own boss running your own show, right? Because you can kind of cater it to your own path, right? So the only thing here we do have, though, is the last card being the Four of Pentacles does kind of let me know that for some of you, um, you know, you may want to be a little careful with kind of how you spend, okay? So for many of you, if you get a new job and you get a new opportunity and so, okay, I've got a new raise and you haven't had the money for a while, um, or, you know, that's what this is. This is a new raise or it's a new job opportunity that's more money or whatever it may be. And you say, okay, finally, I've got money to spend and it's the holidays and it's whatever. I'm just going to go crazy. Um, you know, I would not do that. I would try to put things back because you never know what could happen. I think this kind of serves as a warning to make sure that you aren't going you know, too crazy with it. Certainly treat yourself. But a lot of times when we come out of a famine situation where we really haven't had anything except, you know, paycheck to paycheck, making ends meet, and then we have some extra funds, we're like, oh, treat time, treat time, treat time. Um, you know, and of course, we do deserve treats if we've worked hard for something, but not 
overzealous, right? So I think this is kind of just a warning on that regard if that's something that you have going on. Again, in the same regard, if this is something where you've been waiting for that loan, for a new home, for uh, you know a new business, and that's your option here. Now you've got all these options of a new home for your family or a new business for your family. I do think that, you know, this is kind of serving as a warning that you don't want to overextend yourself, okay? Don't get yourself in a position where you are spending so much that if the business has a lull, you're gonna have to fold, right? You wanna make sure you keep plenty in reserves. If you're buying a home, if you're buying a car, you don't wanna overextend yourself so much that you know the first time that your business slows down or things aren't going great or you have a, you know, a extra expense at home that you can't make the payment and everything's, you know, piling down on you. Make sure that you are putting funds back, okay? And so I do think you are going to get some extra fortune here, uh, whether it's a cash injection, whether it's the person you need in your life, whether it's, you know, uh, job money, bonuses, you know, raises, new opportunities. I think you're gonna get that. I think it's gonna open up a lot of options for you, but you need to be careful that you are also taking precautions because when you take options, a lot of times those options do come with, um, you know, a little bit of startup, you know, a little bit of stepping back, making sure that you are being careful uh, because you just never know, especially in today's economy, which way things are going. And for those of you who this is about a relationship, you know, one thing I would say is that relationship can open up a lot of options for you. And maybe that person wants to move quickly, you know, move in together. Maybe that person wants to, and that may not even be quickly for you. This may be a person you've been friends with for a zillion years, and it's just now becoming a relationship, but you've known them for a million years. And you've been like, someday, come on, right? Um, and now they want to move in and you're like, that's great. How could that cost me more money? Because cohabitating is cheaper for the most part in this economy than living apart. But again, be careful that you're conserving your money while you're doing that because you don't want to get comfortable if things don't work out, bam, you know, you need to make sure you have your own funds put back for, you know, such a time or it just in case, right? Uh, a lot of times dating someone, being with someone is not the same as living with someone, you know, just these kinds of things. Okay. So just let that serve as a warning. Just be careful with your funds. Okay. Let's see what your challenge card is going to be. But I do think I see that you are going to be coming into some fortune for sure. Whatever is considered your personal fortune, uh, right now, your happiness, your joy, what you've been looking for. Um, and I do think that it's going to open up a lot of options for you that you're going to find very helpful. Um, the Empress card, okay? That is your challenge card. And I think for you, that really is your own personal energy, okay? I feel like you are a person who is a very nurturing person. I feel like you're a person who wants to definitely kind of help everyone around you. You want to see them excel. You want to see them grow, flourish, things get better. And so I think you are your own most enemy in that you want to see everything flourish around you. But sometimes, you know, even if you are wanting to nurture that relationship, okay, maybe you're putting yourself at risk. Maybe you're the one signing the lease. Maybe you're the one who is, you know, paying the deposits, things like that. And that can get you into some financial situations, okay? Again, you may be the one who is nurturing everybody in the house with this newfound financial freedom perhaps with if you got the loan you want to provide them the best home the best car the best whatever okay if you got an extra bonus or uh raise at work you want to spend it on friends family whatever to watch them grow but unfortunately the thing is that just because you have all these options doesn't mean you need to take all the options okay you can be your own worst enemy there and it can be to your detriment okay you do not want to spend it all spend it before you got it or put yourself in a precarious situation because it's only going to hurt those around you, including yourself. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Be moderate in what you do with any of your fortunes, however you are fortunate, whether it's in love or in finances. Okay. As the Empress, so that you're not, you know, counteracting the fact that you just got, uh, you know, a good positive thing happened to you. <laughs> This is the psychic deck. Let's go ahead and pull one on your Wheel of Fortune and see if we have any sort of information here. So we have disruption. 
Okay, so I think what this is saying here is that this is, I don't think this is a negative perhaps, but what I do think is that this can cause disruption. I think this is a warning card for you. The psychic deck warning card is basically telling you that this wheel of fortune can cause disruption, okay? If you let it, okay? So there can be an opportunity here. Again, it's going to provide you and present you with a lot of opportunities. It may be a cash injection. It may be, you know, positive uh, work opportunities. It could be somebody there, but it could also cause disruption in your life, okay? It could change the way that you're looking at things. You may have to move for that job. You may have to, um, you know, give up one person that you really like to be with another person and maybe you are on the fence about that. Um, so just be prepared that anytime that there is a positive shift in the universe, sometimes there is also a counteracting negative shift, okay? So just because, you know, again, that things seem to be going great for you, um, you know, it could be a disruption to someone else. So if someone else is kind of acting out, right? One of your friends who didn't get the promotion, one of your friends who didn't get the job, you know, don't take that too personally, but also don't flaunt it in their face. Don't go overboard with things like that. Same thing with if, you know, you choose one person over another, um, you know, and exes are coming in or the other person is upset um, and you're lucky in love there, that could cause a disruption to them. Try not to, you know, try to be sensitive to everyone's feelings, okay? So let's see, we've got the uh, moon deck here. Let's check what we've got on the Empress and the Seven of Cups. So I do feel, again, like you're going to have many opportunities, many options. But again, you want to take the option that is going to not be to your own detriment. So don't, don't go overboard, okay? That's all I, I can say there. Self-love, okay? And again, I think that is saying that you need to make sure that you are practicing self-love in that you're showing restraint, okay? Because if you go overboard with trying to please everybody around you, because you are a nurturer, because you are someone who wants to love everybody and show everybody love, you want to buy them the biggest house, you want to buy them the biggest car, you want to spend all your raise money on them or your bonus money on them, you want to uh, you know, do everything for this person that you are now in a relationship with, including sign on the dotted line for the, you know, mortgage or lease, pay the deposit, whatever it may be. Um, you know, that's all nice and kind and wonderful, but at the same time, you're not really protecting yourself, okay? And in the end, you could really be draining yourself dry, right? And that's not going to help anyone, right? Especially like if you're getting yourself in a situation where they start depending on you for this stuff, and then you can no longer provide it because something happens, something comes up, you can't exactly keep up the pace of what you've overextended on perhaps. And that disruption can cause your self-love, the lack that you're giving yourself to cause everybody to be disrupted, right? So, and that's certainly not what you want to do. You don't want to disrupt everyone around you and yourself, right? I mean, you may be a very selfless person, but Think about how it could affect everybody else if they start depending on you for these things that you want to provide them because there's always a possibility that if funds run short, and here's, I think, a warning to you that that's always a possibility, keep that in the back of your mind, then what, right? So by practicing self-love, you are making sure that you are protected and by protecting yourself, you can protect others, right? Just like on a plane, Put on your own face mask first because if you don't and you pass out, how are you going to help anyone around you? You can't, right? Okay, keep that in mind. So let's pull a last card here. This is just a general uh, advice card on the Four of Pentacles and see what we've got for you. Hopefully we have some good final advice to close you out here and see what we've got. Take responsibility for your life as a creative adventure. How can you live with more meaning, integrity, and truth? And again, I think that's just exactly what we're saying here. You need to take responsibility for your life, okay? But responsibility for your life in that you need to be responsible, okay? Not saying that you're not responsible for everything and everybody. I think that you're almost too responsible for everything and everybody. But what you need to take responsibility for is yourself and taking care of yourself. I think that's why, you know, it's falling right under self-love 
and it's right here next to the four of pentacles because it's telling you you need to make sure that you are protecting yourself taking responsibility for making yourself a priority taking care of responsibility in that you need to make sure you are secured and by securing yourself you will secure everybody else around you okay and then you won't be battling your own self to try to constantly keep up with taking care of everybody in a better way all the time better bigger better 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 more 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 i mean you're just going to wear yourself out like that right you want to you know be an adventurer be creative be happy be joyful be uh you know happy and 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 show yourself self-love so that the people around you can be happy if you're constantly stressed out no one's going to be happy right so hopefully this resonated with you. I think you are going to get great things, great news coming. I think it's going to be wonderful for you. I think you're going to enjoy it. I just think you need to make sure that you are also being very careful, very protective of yourself, making sure you're always watching out for yourself, not overextending yourself with whatever positive things that you have. Um, you know, don't be the fool who walks right off that cliff. Um, you know, kind of take it slow and do what you need to do and enjoy yourself. Um, but that way you can maintain it rather than just have it and poof, it's gone, right? You'd rather maintain. So hopefully this is helpful for you. If it was, please do like, subscribe, share, and otherwise I hope to see you back very soon. Bye.